we need to talk about your single. It is your first radio single, which is so exciting. Was there any hesitation when it came to choosing the single or did you just know right away, this is it, let's go? Actually, we ran into a really good problem that we got the same amount of votes, I guess you'd say, for all five songs to be the single. So when we kept asking people, they kept saying something different. So that's a really fantastic problem to have that no one could choose. But I just, I felt really good about all five of them. And I just, you know, I just went with it and whatever happened because I love all five of these so much. And every single song that I write has a piece of my heart in it. So whichever one they chose, I was gonna be all in either way. <laughs> For sure. And was there a song that didn't make the cut that you would, that you would have liked to see make the cut? Well, I think we all agreed from the very beginning that these five go out first. That's never been a question. It's like, okay, these five first and then we'll figure out the rest next. But there's definitely songs that I'm trying to be strategic and patient and hold back, but that I cannot wait to put out. So there's definitely ones that, yeah, I cannot wait for. That's so exciting. And I mean, right now you can't really perform live music. And I mean, that must be extremely hard releasing the EP and not being able to do that. But are you considering what the music will sound like live or what your live show will consist of? Yeah, since the, well, four of the songs on this collection are from some of my very first co-writes ever in Nashville. So they were around two years ago when I wrote them. And so I actually did get to play them live in 2019 when I wrote them. And it was so nice. And so I knew how my fans have reacted to them so far. And it felt like a great way to introduce myself and just start out from the very beginning and then just make my way through the ones I've written since then. So it's been really fun. That's amazing. And I mean, this past year has just been crazy in general and everyone was kind of home for a long time. First of all, what did you do to pass the time aside from music? Did you learn any hobbies or binge any shows? Well, yeah, lately I've been binging America's Next Top Model, still trying to get through all of the seasons of that. But um, now that we can start to go other places, obviously with the mask, um, we've been thrifting and everything lately. So I'm obsessed with thrifting and I love shopping in general, but thrifting has been the hobby for me. But during quarantine specifically, I just tried to learn more instruments and dive into more music and write down any feelings I was having and journaling and just trying to make the most of it and just grow as a human and as an artist. So it's been interesting, but hopefully we're finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel and the end of this. For sure. And do you think just being stuck at home for that long period of time influenced your creativity or creative process overall? It did, because in a way, there's not as much to write about because I'm not going places. But then on the other hand, I'm zoning in on whatever that emotion is or something that I'm just intrigued by, you know, and just really being able to dive all the way into it. So it's been really fun and different. That is so cool. I mean, I'm glad you, you are able to keep those creative juices flowing. What do you do in terms of um, if you have either writer's block or you just not feeling any music on a certain day? then I try and listen to other artists music and just relax into it and just go back to the beginning and find things that inspire me and um, just hope that it starts flowing from there. But co-writes, it's a, it's a great thing for that because I've been really fortunate to write with a lot of amazing songwriters so far. And they're, it's just the perfect way to bounce off ideas. And like I was saying in quarantine, I've been writing more from a feeling or an emotion more so than a specific hook like I used to and so it's been really different this year so it's just fun to try new things that is really that's really cool that you did that because most people I talk to have just either been struggling a lot or just trying to write as much music as possible and most of it didn't turn out well but that is incredible so I also read a couple fun facts about you that I wanted to go into um I saw that you wanted to skydive so do you have any other bucket list items out there that you just want to complete hopefully this year <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, as far as music, I, I really want to get a number one on the radio and play live shows again, travel, I mean, go out of the country, all sorts of stuff. So we'll see how much of that happens. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. And um, there are so, there's quite a few amazing females in country music that have supported you, like Jennifer and Carly. Can you talk a little bit about that and just your reaction to seeing these like amazing female artists and writers 
love you and your music. It's so overwhelming and I'm so happy that my music is finally out there because I've been writing for this collection for the past two years. So it's so nice that I can finally show my fans what I've been working on and even my friends and family, I can finally say, here it is, please go stream it. Like, you know, this is finally what I've been spending all of my time doing. But uh, with Jennifer, she's always been extremely supportive and kind and just an amazing artist for me to look up to, an amazing human. And um, yeah, I just love her to death. And she's so, so awesome and a great performer. And then with Carly, I met her years ago when I first started working with Big Machine and I got to meet her at a concert. But I don't know if she remembers because I don't look anything like I do now. I still look like I'm 12. But then I looked like I was like six years old. <laughs> but she was so sweet. I got to play a Zoom writer's round through the UK. And she was so nice. And oh my goodness, some of the memes on Twitter were cracking me up. It was like, get someone who looks at you like Carly looks at Callista. It was so cute. So yeah, she's super sweet and extremely talented as well.